Hi, my name is Craig. I've been uh, sheltering in place for about six weeks. I need a haircut. Uh, I've got a Flowbee. There's a lot of misinformation about Flowbees out there. Uh, I thought I'd show you how to use it, what it is and how to use it. Uh, Flowbee's not paying me for this. I bought my own Flowbee in 2004. I still have the box. So what's a Flowbee? A Flowbee is uh, hair clippers that go on your vacuum. It's, it's uh, mess free. It is style free. We've got a motor um, in, in this head here. We've got a switch to turn it on and off. Um, and we've got a hose that goes to a vacuum. It doesn't have a vacuum included. Uh, I've got this kind of wonky attachment, but it works. Uh, I'm gonna hook it up to our little vacuum cleaner and uh, see if I can get that on there. Ah, broke it. You can it. do it just because you on yeah, no, I've done this before without <laughs> breaking it. Um, so anyhow, now we take this guy, plug it in here, and we're ready to go. Um, See, so plug, once, don't forget to plug that in too. Yeah, no, we got we got everything. Everything's plugged in. I pre-plugged in several things here, and so you can see these blades here. I'm gonna. Um, it's it's pretty safe. So I've never done this before, but uh, let's see. So I can. I can run my finger across that and, and there's no danger. So you don't have to worry about cutting an ear off or whatnot. Uh, it comes with attachments. Uh, this is an attachment that I actually broke and uh, it allows me to get a little bit closer. Um, before it broke, it looked like this. And after it broke, it looked like this. You can see it's missing one part here. But what that does, it allows me to get a little closer down around my ears and, and on the sides, which is nice because it wasn't cutting nearly as close as I wanted it to. Um, and one thing you need to be aware of is if you take this off, because it's not cutting close enough, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna get big chunks of scalp showing when you're done. And I've done that, um, don't do it. So uh, I've also got some attachments for different lengths. So we've got, uh, this guy is shortest. Uh, we use the unbroken one for uh, the next step up and then the unbroken one with a clip here and uh, and then we're well, that's for the top. So um, yeah, important part is uh, earplugs. This is super loud. You, you heard it there when I was trying to cut my finger off. Um, earplugs are important and uh, yeah, so it's good. So I'm, I'm gonna go back to my normal length of a beard and uh, shave and do whatnot. I've got other tools here that I normally use. This is what I usually use for the beard. Um, I don't think I've ever flow beat my beard, so I don't even know if it'll work, but I've got this in the works. And um, then I got to shave my neck, obviously the flow beat's not going to do that. Um, yeah, but anyhow, a lot of misinformation out there about flow beat. I thought you should see it in action and see how it actually works. So this is me. I'm going to do it. All right, so hair took a little more time than normal because it was six weeks instead of two. Uh, beard, total fail. I think the hair is just too, uh, too strong. So we're just gonna go the normal route with the rest of this stuff here.
So that's the Floby. Um, it comes with longer attachments. You can see right there. And if you've got, uh, I don't know, a mullet or something, and you, you don't want to get all short all over, this would be the mullet attachment. And uh, you can make it any length you want. They've even got slanted ones. So, you know, if you want short at the bottom, I don't like those, but uh, I like doing it my way. In about 20, 25 minutes, I got my uh, hair, beard, whatnot. I'd still be waiting at the barber shop. Sorry, you guys. Uh, I, I, uh, I couldn't wait. But anyhow, always looks great with a Timbers cap on. If you can find yourself a Flowbee, go get yourself one and you can have a haircut just like mine.